Today is 25th of June 2017 and it's 1017 Central European time. I just sent uh, this here for lot volume number 272. The scale of, the, of their rebirth lies the most important for lot volume so far. To the usual recipients this time, including uh, these here fuckers and this here fucker, I don't mean the gardener, I mean the fucker who dwells there. This is what I wrote. <coughs> I finally understood that their rebirth bakery shtick that I already gave you way back in November 2015 for Lautbaron number 27, and I can show you this. Uh, I take you all the way back to for 27. That's over one and a half years ago. Here we are. Uh, several short things in no particular order. This one is not what I'm talking about. This one is not what I'm talking about. This one here, point three it was. Okay? So this was on 14th of November 2015 and I sent it again, thereupon I sent it again. I'm not sure if for this particular one they actually fucked something up or not, I, I'm not perfectly sure, but I sent it again to the usual recipients. This is the 27 that I tried again, okay? So, and even the again sending was on the 14th of November 2015. So back to the current one. Uh, this is basically about one of their rebirth bakeries. I'm not, I'm not going to go into that. Until today, I thought they had only hoodwinked nobodies into bringing back their nobody relatives. Why? Because here, uh, the case actually, not, not here in the links, but uh, there's a particular case involving the actress's Jill Clayburgh's mother. Why ever? I don't know, but I figured, okay, if they're pulling this shit, you can find this in a DC comic book published in, uh, I'm not perfectly sure when it was, I don't remember that by heart, but late 70s, early 80s thereabouts, the con era for sure, I can tell you that much. Um, and I figured, well, if they're going for absolute nobodies like the mom of Jill Clayburgh, I thought that's the kind of scale that they do this. Just that today, one thing led to another again, and I finally unlocked, so to speak, the deeper understanding of a particular song. And from there, I understood all things that happened for a whole long time around it. But I'm going to continue reading this. But I understood today just how long this has been going, and that all manners of famous people have been brought back. General Lee in the Dukes of Hazard. See, maybe you remember the Dukes of Hazard. I don't mean the remake. I mean the original Dukes of Hazard. General Lee, that car, that was letting the in world know we brought back General Lee, people. Oh, we rebirth General Lee. Oh, well, they'll show me it's better. Watch it. Okay? No shit. That is why you had General Lee in the TV there. To let the world know. You can bet your asses that every fucker mentioned by name in the Talmud is alive and well in the Jewish community. Likewise, every KZ victim has been brought back, except of course for educated purposes, into the minds of non-Jews. Understand how the Jews delude to have brought back practically every Jew who ever lived. And then understand that only four fit into one mind, because a mind consists of five phases, there's an ego phase and there's five con emo phases, and what they're doing there is working on the con emo phases, so there's four for each actual brain. The rest is let loose on non-Jews, meaning the Jews happily coerce other people's phases into force believing it were a reborn Jew, okay? This is what is going on out there. Understand how the lurching filth of the Jehovah's Witnesses does the same. Furthermore, the ghostwriting that I myself was horrendously abused for throughout my life is sold as bringing back dead authors. We can channel the dead authors. Ooh. No, they can't. They had to make use of people who could actually write. People like me. Because they can't bring back dead authors, channel them, or any such. The same with dead scientists. You bet your ass, in fucking America, people say, Oh, Einstein, sure, we got them channeled. No, they don't. They suck science out of the minds of scientists elsewhere in the world and sell it as theirs under inverted commata, as sell it as, Oh, we have all the greatest scientists the world has ever seen. No, they do not. Okay? Dead nobility, dead everything. 
Every fucker in the up there probably deludes to be a reborn great warrior like the Prince Eugene of Savoy and say, say, if you're a take it off and everybody. The Beta and the Carl are actually deluding to be Prince Eugene and fucking Admiral Taganoff. They're about ballpark. And they drive tons of Imperial Days propaganda because they delude, they've reborn channel these. See, the reason why the Upland floods this here area of Europe is because they believe that they brought back the sea seal to France, no? and say, 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 Maria Theresia, no? no? No, they did no such thing. But there are fuckers out there in the fucking delusional uh, Habsburg orbit who think that their bloody offspring got channeled dead ancestors of theirs. Okay? Putin's face probably deludes it's Catherine the Great or some such. Would be typical bitch queen humor. I've always wondered about Putin because he's really, I mean, he's, he's behaving uh, weird to say the least and yet facts mean lets him. I mean, weird as in uh, uh, I, I, I'm lost for a word here. Uh, ungelenk. What does ungelenk mean? Well, anyhow, it, it, not very, uh, not very skilled, and yet kind of weird and kind of odd. And you know, someone like Catherine the Great would be hilarious to the Russian fix movie. If Putin deludes to be Catherine the Great, without him, his ego doesn't know. Okay. One of his phases is forced into deluding that he was a reborn who the fuck ever. Okay? Who the fuck ever? That is why they keep Putin around. The recent mass event of Jehovah's Filth in Vienna, I, I, just a few days ago I sent you that, uh, where they have a stadium full of their fucking allergies, was a mass event for what is sold as countless reborn lurching American rebirth soul migration filth allegedly reborn into the minds of the local population. Okay, because, oh well, they're in the European part and they don't lurch like they should and like they don't believe in the way birth and everything, even though we brought you in the way back, they don't believe. Well, we gotta do something. Okay, this is what's going on, motherfuckers. The actual, in reality, mass connecting, and here I'm talking actual, in human technology, infrastructure, IT infrastructure, that's what we're talking about here. The actual, in reality, mass connecting of Americans' brains onto and into the brains of the local here population is thereafter explained as those reborn ones working. Well, say how they all do like Americans, because we rebirth the fear over there. This is not what's going on. They don't rebirth shit. Understand how the onslaught of refugees flooding Europe is utilized in this. The Bilderberg meetings are finally understood as what they are. Perfectly farcical happenings put on for the phases of the attending, not their ego face. Forced to believe they are reborn whoever. 90 plus percent of the typical attendees have no idea their faces are forced to believe they are reborn whoever. Some there do and fuck up all the others, just for completeness sake. If you wonder, what is this Bilderberg meeting all about? It's not about anything, really, other than the phases of the involved. Happily having a very moving experience where they are amongst truly great people. So great, like the greatest out of history, because all of the fucking delude that they are reborn who the fuck ever. Understand the classic song, The Baker Man is Baking Bread, by Laid Back with its parachute video represents a marketing campaign for that madness with them coming down from the sky heaven and birth is typically delivered in a laid back position okay the baker man if you don't know the song if you haven't been around maybe maybe too old or too young for the song it was huge in its day just watch it on youtube and fucking understand Understand how Fex Moon Eagle, Lurching Reborn, Soul Migration, Channeling Delusionists, and the useless Jews have for 90 years annihilated the world and enslaved all mankind for this madness. 
understand how the crowding of Donald Trump that I overheard in a conversation recently, I recorded a video on this a while back, go look it up, it's going, and it's not called the crowding of Donald Trump, I don't remember what the video is called, uh, I overheard this in a conversation on a bus between a woman and her, her, her daughter, go look it up, it's going to show that the upland and the lurching, uh, and their lurching and Habsburg orbit make Fox Media in North America believe that they, sorry, there's a Y missing, I just know, that they rebirthed some past king of their own line into Donald. Okay? Let me get this right. I mean, let, let me help you get this right. The up there out and the fucking lurches they are make North America believe that in the brain of Donald Trump is a reborn Habsburg king. I hate fucking you. Understand how the ketchup dude Carrie is treated as reborn Metternich. If you don't know who Metternich is, either don't give a fuck or look the guy up on Wikipedia. Understand, world, how you are all being fucked. There is no rebirth, there is no soul migration, there is no channeling the dead. There is only subsets of a mind's own consciousness being abused, coerced, forced into deluding. Heed my words, Fex Mundi. I will live for as long as it takes to once and for all purge the obscenity that is religion out of the human gene pool. I will live for as long as it takes to have every last liturgy of any and each religion, not a religion religion, faith, creed, church, sect, cult, lie cold and dead and with their brains beaten to a pulp at the feet of liberated mankind. I am the universe. Why? I have explained that in quite a lot of videos prior because I understand biology. I understand this universe. I understand what this species is and what it is not. I am the prime protector of this species. Thus, I am the prime protector of all life on this planet. And as such, I am the universe. You, Fixmundi, are nothing. I myself may have very likely been horrendously discredited as reborn this and reborn that. Part, actually, I, I want to insert a little line here that I forgot to write there. See, when you fuckers out there attacking me are, are having me force declared in your scenario apps, I'm talking about the scenario apps here. Your scenario app works on you, well, who is he reborn? Who is he reborn? Your scenario keeps you from understanding that I ain't nobody reborn. I am me. I have never been anyone else. I will never be anyone else. I am me. Wolfgang Trubscher. In English, Wolfgang Trubscher. In French, suck a dick. Part of their attacks against me way back in the build-up phase long prior to 2013 was to have me read a classic science fiction novel called Why Call Them Back From Heaven? Just to have that title alone as a clearly extractable sentence force verbalized. Discrediting me at the same time as someone who believes in that crap, as well as making me their target for daring to even ask that question. This dear world, whoever the fuck you are, wherever the world you're watching this, this here, mark the day, 25th of June, 2017, 10.31 Central European Time. This is the moment where everybody on this planet gets to decide if you are either with mankind or you wind up, as it says down here, cold and dead with your brains beaten to a pulp at liberated mankind's feet. <laughs>